Hi everyone, this is Kit Sunny, and in this video, I'll be doing um, uh, more like a checklist and tips for fellow members who are ready to start on their paid ads modules. And especially for beginners who have not done the organic side, you might be you might find that uh, it can be quite daunting, especially when you have not done advertising before. Uh, so hopefully, with this some um, these tips and this checklist, will make your journey a little smoother than mine. <laughs> So let's dive in and straight away go through the, t the checklist that I've created. Uh, basically, I always believe that mindset, expectation and budgeting is important. Um, I have started MOF um, some late last year, maybe November, but I've only decided to go on paid ad modules in March because I thought that it needs all this uh, management of uh, mindset, expectation and budget. Okay, why I find it important because number one, you have to have enough budget to run your ad for at least six to eight weeks so that number one, you are able to get the data that you need from Google to let Google optimize and do its work and uh, optimize your cost per conversion, you know. so. Um, you can't do it like a start stop situation you have to let it grow and uh, you must also be ready to lose some if not all of your ad budget because it's almost like a gamble there's no guarantee that your campaign can bring you your sales but if you have a sale then very good for you because it does happen it has happened to quite a few of us but also remember that number five here, let me just go through one by one, okay? So number one, I say that you have, make sure that you have enough budget to run your ads for at least six to eight weeks. Uh, make sure that you are ready to lose some, if not all of your ad budget, because it's, um, like I said, it's a gamble. And make sure that you don't forget to include the cost of using Apple webinar and get respond auto responder. And number four is that you are prepared not to see immediate sales within the first few weeks. And if you get a sale, very good for you. But remember, you cannot withdraw your commission immediately from Warrior Plus, especially when you're new. It all depends on your account status. I think usually it's about 15 days. Uh, and be ready for possible refunds. And refunds can affect your status as well. Then it can delay your withdrawal limit period. Okay. So both number five and number six can affect your cash flow, which will affect your advertising budget. Make sure that you are ready to set all this in place. And when you're ready, we go through the training module. Um, let's see. We have so many videos here on the left hand panel. You will see intro overview, required tools and all that. Please go through them at your own pace do not rush do not miss anything especially when you're setting up your ever web a webinar okay so go through them don't rush don't skim all right and another problem that quite a few people have faced is suspended google accounts you must be ready for this because it feels like anything can trigger the suspension by googlebot it happened to me uh, and it was frustrating in the beginning. I've lost a couple of weeks while I was so excited to start moving to paid ads, but my Google accounts got suspended. There's nothing else you could do. You can only apply or appeal and get the Google approval team to review your appeal. Fingers crossed. And I got my Google accounts unsuspended, but it took quite a while, like I said, a couple of weeks. And another fellow member, Michael Grace, has done a very good post in our group about Google Ads policy. It's very helpful. So watch it. It will make you understand better. Uh, so to preempt possible uh, reasons why your Google Ads may have been suspended. So this is just to avoid all this uh, wasted time. And over here, uh, tip number four is hosting and domain. It's one of the part here on our training module, hosting and domain name. You can use what Jono has suggested to you, but this is me sharing my experience of what I've done so far. So if you haven't got um, your own website or you don't have any hosting provider that you're using at the moment and you're ready to look for a new one, what I found uh, very useful is Green Gigs. Uh, Simon, also a fellow member, is using this and we both believe that this is great. Okay, they have, their pricing is incredible, their support team is very helpful and personally, I cannot find a better deal than what they're offering at the moment because my car, my previous hosting provider they're charging me quite a quite a hefty amount for the same specification that 
uh, green gigs is giving me so four dollars 95 cents per month but you have to take the three-year package to enjoy that very low price what i get is a free domain name which you can use for your advertising uh, it will come in for uh, one year free then you just continue the next year if you want to continue paying for the domain name it's about 15 dollars or so uh, they have very good hosting specification very fast and I can also host unlimited website. I have quite a number of websites or that I've already created. Um, so, and uh, it comes with free SSL. You need the free SSL, like a padlock on your website URL when you are ready to do your paid ad, okay? So as I mentioned, I've migrated all my website with no problem. Um, and then I've also added the new MOF paid ad domain and a couple more and you know, everything is all set and ready i've included my affiliate link you can use it uh, if you like to i would really appreciate it but if not anyway it doesn't matter just give a check them out and see and compare personally i think it's a fantastic deal so i'll leave it to you to make a decision but this is my journey i find that i it's been very easy and smooth and it's a lot cheaper for me okay and then we move on to setting up your ever uh, webinar Ever webinar can be quite costly too. Uh, it's almost like five, four nine nine per annum, and um, you will get a free trial period of about a dollar a day for fourteen days. What I did, and I would recommend you to do if you're not too sure, is to just reach out to their customer service or their support or contact us and ask them to give you an extension for a 30-day trial which i got in the end because i had that trouble with my uh, google paid ads uh, and they're quite happy to to help a new customer potentially a new customer so uh you know uh what do you call that no venture no gain so you just try it's just a matter of sending a quick email and say i would like to try but i'm having trouble with setting up my google account and it will take some time and i'm waiting for approval and they will be very happy to extend that uh, trial period to one month so try that that's one tip for you and the next tip is advanced ever webinar setup and emails this, this is the tricky part i started my paid ad journey in march and I was doing very well because I have quite a number of campaigns that's running and I'm getting consistent sales. Uh, but the problem is I don't know which one is generating the sale because I, I created my campaigns and then I would then have to go back and do the um, advanced tracking. So my recommendation is if you're creating your first campaign, straight away add in all the tracking component. So whenever you create one campaign, do a full tracking so that you know which campaign is bringing the sales okay when that happens so watch the video carefully when you create your campaign you make one webinar setting under ever webinar okay so that one campaign will be linked to one ever webinar straight away and then uh, remember to take note of the various uh, webinar room uh, live room link and the registration button link this is useful when you already know what i'm talking about okay so when you are doing the part whereby you come to the point of doing advanced ever webinar setup you go and look under my checklist this is what you have to do uh, it would have saved me a lot of time it would have saved me a lot of money because if i have done my tracking right from the start i would have known which of my campaign that was doing so well okay and then um Personally, when you, go, when you set up your Google ad advertisement under the simple ads and keyword, you have the simple ads is to learn uh, for you to set up your Google ads. And um, personally, I find that the keyword ads are doing the best for me. Okay, you can try everything, but in my, in my personal opinion, these are the one that is uh, bringing me the sales. Okay, so... Um, uh, like i said yeah i had better result doing keyword ads okay remember you can test different keywords relevant keywords to affiliate marketing and money okay so you do your own testing and uh, my top tip like i mentioned before is when you create a, a new campaign remember to use one webinar setting okay and then uh, watch the advanced sales tracking video before you scale your advertisement okay so or before you scale your campaign so by tracking each of your campaign, you are laying a very good foundation and you'll be gathering good data and you know exactly which campaign to scale. My top, top tip <laughs> is that when you're doing your advanced tracking, 
this is something that I've shared with Michael the other day, is to make sure that you put the your tag, put an additional tag to your affiliate link of each of the ever webinar email notification if you are not sure then you you know you send a message to me but when you are ready to do this part you will know what i'm talking about you will need to put a tag uh, behind your affiliate link for mof product and this needs to be done in each and every one of your email notification because personally i find that a lot more of my affiliate hops came from the email follow-ups so please do that and that will really help you as well okay and then tip number eight let google algorithm do its thing okay when you set up your campaign try not to touch it or tweak it or mess around with it once you set it let it go okay and try not to touch it at all a google expert once told me that you it needs two to three weeks to to be very effective to fully optimize the delivery of your ad and i believe it's true because i've seen that happening um, the minute you touch your Google uh, ad during the learning mode, what you're doing is you are resetting the learning period. So instead of five days, it becomes another five days and you're waiting and waiting and waiting for Google to perform and give you the best cost per conversion. So, you know, it's your loss if you keep messing around with the campaign that you have just started. And remember when you're ready to scale, when you found the data and you say, hey, this particular campaign is bringing me a lot of hops and suddenly you make a sale from that campaign and then you are ready to scale remember scaling is good when you're very comfortable with your budget remember no point to have a good campaign that runs so well then suddenly you don't have enough budget and you stop it and then when you want to restart it's really um, not um, very good for Google I think Google it sort of affects the performance of that campaign and you might as well restart everything all over again from scratch so I think that's all I have I've got all this tip I'm gonna put the link below um, for you to, for, I'm gonna share this uh, checklist with you so when you're ready to uh, move on to paid ads I hope you will take this uh, tip that I've shared with you and make it uh, perform better than I have <laughs> done in the past so I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.